Hi everyone. I am very happy to welcome you all to Dr. JJS Virtual Academy of Commerce. In this video, I am going to discuss with you two interesting and important exercises from the chapter Marginal Casting. Let us get into the details of the first problem which I have already solved on the board. In the first sum, we are given with the details like sales is equal to 1 lakh, profit is equal to 10,000 rupees, variable cost is equal to 70% of sales. We are asked to find out A, PVR, B, fixed cost, C, sales to earn a desired profit of 40,000 rupees. If you look at the details given in the problem, we can find a way to calculate profit volume ratio from the given information. Sales 1 lakh rupees, profit 10,000. What is the third one? Variable cost 70% on sales. Now sales in general includes variable cost and contribution. Now let us form this equation first. Sales is equal to variable cost plus contribution. We are informed that the variable cost is 70% of sales. Sales is 100% and therefore what is the missing figure in the equation? Contribution 30% is a missing figure. Contribution is 30% on sales. That's nothing but profit volume ratio. Because profit volume ratio generally represents the portion of contribution on sales. It depicts the relationship between contribution and sales. When sales is 100, if contribution is 30%, you can understand that profit volume ratio is 30%. This is simple understanding. Fine. Now let's get into the rest of the details with regard to sum number 1. Now I have calculated the fixed cost. That's the requirement for question B. Contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit. This is a popular equation. Now if we come to know contribution, from contribution we can detect the profit which is given in the problem. It is amount of 10,000. The balance of contribution will be equal to fixed cost. This is an idea. Now how to calculate contribution? There is a popular formula in marginal costing to calculate contribution. That's nothing but sales into profit volume ratio. We are given with the amount of sales. It is nothing but 1 lakh rupees. We have now calculated the profit volume ratio. It is 30%. Therefore, making use of the two data, we can very well calculate contribution. So, contribution is equal to sales into PVR. 1 lakh into 30% it comes to 30,000 rupees. Therefore, when the concern makes the sales amount at 1 lakh rupees, you find 30,000 rupees of the sales stands for contribution. So if contribution is 30,000 rupees, you deduct the profit 10,000 rupees from the contribution. The balance 20,000 rupees is nothing but fixed cost. And that is what I got done here. So I have brought down this equation here. Contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit. Contribution, we have come to know it is 30,000. Profit, it is 10,000 given in the problem. Therefore, the missing figure 20,000 rupees is nothing but fixed cost. So, we have answered question B also. What is question C? Sales to earn a profit of 40,000. That means we are asked to find out the amount of sales to be made by the business enterprise in order to earn the targeted profit or desired profit of 40,000 rupees. There is a popular formula which will help us to calculate the amount of sales to be made to earn a desired profit. The formula is nothing but fixed cost plus desired profit the whole divided by PBR. Fixed cost, we calculated it as 20,000 rupees. Plus desired profit, it is 40,000 rupees given in the problem. The whole divided by 30%. Therefore, if you simplify this calculation, it becomes like 60,000 rupees divided by 30 into 100. The answer is 2 lakh rupees. So what is that we understand? If this concern makes the turnover amounted 2 lakh rupees, it is likely to yield the targeted profit of 40,000 rupees. That's what about the answer for sum number 1. Now let us get into the details of sum number 2. 
from the following data calculate a pvr b sales recovery earn a profit of 280000 rupees from the given details what are the details presented down here sales 4 lakh rupees minus variable overheads 3 lakh rupees so you get the balance of 1 lakh rupees in the stage then from that you subtract fixed overhead amount at 30000 and finally you get 70000 rupees as profit these are all the details we are given with in the problem now let us make an attempt to calculate pvr now what is the formula for calculating profit volume ratio in this situation contribution divided by sales into 100 will give you the profit volume ratio now how to calculate contribution if you look at the details given in the problem you can understand the fact that from sales if you subtract variable costs variable overhead you can come to know contribution see this is what contribution in this problem sales 4 lakh minus variable overheads are variable cost you get the balance of 1 lakh rupees that's what contribution that's what i have done here see contribution is equal to sales minus variable overhead we get the answer of 1 lakh rupees now let us apply the amount of contribution and sales in the formula for calculating profit volume ratio Profit volume ratio, the formula which I have already written, contribution divided by sales into 100. So, 1 lakh divided by 4 lakh into 100, it gives us 25% as profit volume ratio for this situation. Now, let us move to answer the question B. What is the amount of sales required to be made in order to earn a profit of 2 lakh 80,000 rupees? We can make use of the formula which we utilized in sum number 1. What is the formula? Fixed cost plus desired profit or targeted profit, the whole divided by PVR. We are informed that fixed cost is 30,000 rupees. Plus desired profit 2 lakh 80,000, the whole divided by PVR 25%. If you simplify this calculation, what is that you get? 3 lakh 10,000 rupees divided by 25 into 100, you get the answer of 12 lakh 40,000 rupees. Therefore, what is the conclusion? If this concern, if this situation, makes your turnover amount at 12 lakh 40 thousand rupees it is likely to earn the targeted profit of 2 lakh 80 thousand rupees i hope you all would have understood my explanation over the calculations of different items related to these two interesting exercises i suggest you the learners to watch the video for a few times so that you can understand the concepts thoroughly have a happy learning. Thanks for watching this video. I will meet you in another video. Bye for now everyone. Good luck.